So here's a new toy, well, new to me. Uh, I've used these before. Um, they are, they are uh, very handy and they work very well in a uh, light brush. Uh, this is the first time I used one with a saw blade like this. Uh, the last ones I used either had the four blade or the th uh, tri blade. The tri blade I always really liked for the light stuff, um, but I don't know if they make them anymore. Somebody said, oh, they're so dangerous, blah, blah, blah. Well, these things, period, are dangerous. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I'm going to probably wear my chainsaw chaps <laughs> because you get whipped in the leg and everything. I just was trying this out in my yard on a couple little places where there's brush and that that always comes back every year. And uh nice thing is I can get down, I can get these little stumps down, you know, they're just like, I don't know, maybe like that thick kind of thing. Uh, less than an inch maybe uh, they say you can do up to two inch with this but yeah that's a, getting a little risky um, but uh, yeah it, it will uh, take down all the small brush under that uh, no problem sometimes you just got to work your way into it it takes a little bit but uh, it, damn does it work good um, it's kind of got a centrifugal clutch thing going on I guess because you got to uh, kind of rev it up uh, so I stalled it once, but I think it's just because it's got old gas in it. So I'm just going to try and run the old gas out of it, and then I'll put in new stuff. Like, uh, it's got the gas preservative in it. I'm not sure where he got the gas for it. Probably just local, so it, it'll have ethanol in it, because everything in Canada apparently has ethanol in it. I have to go across the border, which isn't that far from me, uh, about nine miles into the States, to find a gas station that doesn't have it. And... Uh, but unfortunately, here in Canada, we're run by communists, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and everybody's heard it lately. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, just to get the better quality gas, you got to get to the States. But I don't know, it ran okay. Uh, a little bit rough. I think maybe it might need a tuning. Some of these are made so that, I don't know, the carburetors aren't tunable sort of thing. Or the high and low jet on them, you require a funny little screwdriver. And all I do to fix that problem is I take uh, I take the plastics off and then I take my Dremel and I put a little grinding disc on it. And then I just make two slots for a flat screwdriver. That's all you need to do. So they, they want everything to run lean and clean sort of thing. But it doesn't always work for these motors and then they run awful after. So yeah, this is the first time I'm using this style of blade on it. Uh, this is a sharpenable blade. You can use uh, sort of like a chainsaw type file, 532nd file for a little hole, and then all the little slots, and you use uh, a small flat file for that. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. I've got a chiropractor appointment, of all things, uh, uh, to do. And uh, then maybe tomorrow, depending on what the weather's like. Today it's not bad. We had snow overnight, but we're supposed to get some shitty weather uh, coming out of probably northern Manitoba. They always call it an Alberta Clipper, but half the time it comes out of northern Manitoba, especially when the cold wind comes. And so I'm going to, once uh, the weather's okay, I'll get the uh, safety apparatus on, and I'll go take it out in the bush. I'll refuel it, sharpen it, and uh, go out in the bush, and then we'll get all the regrowth from last year down, and uh, I'll go deal with uh, all the sticks and stuff uh, that uh, from what I was clearing this year, so... But yeah, this is this is kind of nice to be able to use this from my ATV club. Uh, they also bought like a walk behind bush hog type, type mower, like a DR field and brush mower. Uh, just because some trails don't always get traveled or we've got little parking areas uh, for people to unload their machines and that. So we mow that stuff down and uh, what else we've uh, we're also going to probably be making some more trails in the near future here. So. Yeah, so this is quite handy. This uh, is a Husqvarna. Yeah, it's from Sweden, I'm guessing. <laughs> Could be from Denmark for all I know, too. It's a Husqvarna, a 128R. So, yeah, this one you prime it with a little priming bulb. This is your choke, so that's fully choked. Then you go halfway or whatever. Oh, there, there's all the way, and then you're supposed to go halfway, so it warms up and then completely off. So yeah, I like that. That's going to be handy. Get my little trail done. So, and then maybe I can get things good enough I can use a tractor back there. I don't have to worry about putting a stump through the tire or anything like that. 